So I want to introduce you to a project of mine where it's called Open Zortex. It's kind of modeled after um, a game that that runs on um, Vive called The Lab from Valve. And in there, they have a mini game called Zortex. And the idea is that it's kind of a classic space shooter brought into virtual reality. So, I, you know, since I just finished doing a Udemy course on um, Unity 3D and I'm kind of doing one on Unreal, I thought, you know, it's time I really start making something fun and real. Uh, you know, to start really developing games. So I thought, you know, I'll make an open source version of that game because it's one of the first VR games that really got me excited uh, into uh, developing games, or really developing in VR. So here we go. Here's uh, my so what I have so far. I have these little enemy ships that spawn, and they kind of come after my little ship that I get to control with my VR headset. Um, uh, there's not much to it. You know, I have these spawn points all around me, and every time I, you know, get one of these ships, uh, they just randomly spawn somewhere. Oh, there you go. Ooh, it's spawning at the bottom a lot. Uh, now you're coming up from there. So that's pretty much it. Um, kind of really hoping to go pretty far with this because this is kind of fun. Um, maybe uh, model my own little spaceships, my own little enemies. Uh, add a bunch of different type of uh, weapons and power-ups. Uh, maybe a bunch of different enemies. Uh, make it maybe make it more room scale where I kind of have to walk around more to you know fly around the the ship instead of being more like a seated experience or a standing experience. Um, uh, another thing I'm thinking about maybe is uh, supporting Google Daydreams, their VR uh, initiative. Uh, since this game written in Unity. You know, it shouldn't be that hard to port it over to mobile since Unity is very popular on mobile. And uh, Dream Daydream does have a tracked controller, so so this can be something that can be uh, ported over just fine. Um, so yeah, so it's an open source project. I'm just learning as I go, and uh, done a lot of cool things. I'm experimenting with like recycling. Um, projectiles so instead of creating and destroying projectiles I actually recycle them so as soon as they either destroy a ship or they kind of just go past a certain amount of time they kind of just hide and then they get recycled right back to the very beginning so this way I'm not wasting a lot of resources creating projectiles so I'm experimenting with things like that uh, eventually, I want to have these ships to be a lot faster, uh, shoot back. Um, I want them to also, you know, just collide with you, you know, kamikaze style to destroy you, instead of just stopping and following. I kind of want to improve... Oh, I can't really see where I'm putting this controller. Um, yeah, I want to do a better job of controlling the ships. Uh, I don't know, it's like a lot of the things I would love to do. I want to add some... UI components to the actual controller. Um, I want to do power-ups. So maybe you have to walk over to get a power-up so your ship can uh, have shields or much better weaponry for a limited time. Uh, you know, the sky's the limit, you know. Especially since this is an open source project, uh, you know, people can probably help me, give me ideas, uh, give me pointers on how to better improve the, the overall game experience. Um, so, yeah, I'll post all the information in the description, uh, and uh, anyone who's interested, you know, can help out. Else, uh, from time to time, I'll create new videos showing the progress, and uh, once it's a decent, usable game, I'll probably uh, release it for people to download for free. So it'll be completely free, open source game for the Vive, and Daydream, and maybe even Oculus Rift, if I ever get an Oculus Rift. Um... That's about it. So thank you for watching and uh, happy gaming.